Yeah, it just figure on paper to be a pretty easy opportunity for Novotno. You really yeah. deep that this yeah. open toes, yeah, I was going to stretch her. Well, and you knew down deep that this would enter into it somehow. And now this delicate test uh, that carries so much weight, an entire set of seven points by two, and so little room for a foul. Wow, that's a backhand. Tozia has delivered the entire match. Hour and a half into this championship final. Coaches willing their players. Mm. A couple of easy points for Nevada. That helps the nerves. Pulse rate right now might be what 170. <laughs> that heart's racing. And times are every point is like a match point. Meanwhile, they both want to get first serves in. Let's see if Novotna pounces on this one. and then both of them are up there and this was a good leap that Jan Avatna had. It's a little bit out. Two points all. Mini break goes to Novotna. And Sophia coming in behind her second serve that time. Change ends, no button in the lead, four points to two. Well, I can I can hear the press conference after yeah, he loses this match. I mean, you, you know that she a lot of chances. She has a flat forehand and just didn't put enough top spin on that shot. Novata knows regardless of what happens on the two service points for her opponent, she'll have a chance to serve for the championship when it comes back to her side. Points. It's not the execution of the volley, it's just the instinct that's there. Did I 
I've done it. I've yes. We'll climb up to the front box. I lost Pat Cash 11 years ago. She always in constant visual contact with her coach, Hannah Monlikova. <laughs> Wonderful marker for both of those players. Hannah's never, in her career, never won Wimbledon. And there's her mother. She's taken a lot of heat for losing her nerve in the past, but today with a not only ability, but such and character. You know, Dick, those of us who know her well, I was on the tour with her. She's been around a long time, and we've watched her falter and felt her frustrations, and it's a, it's a great moment for me, too. And with that final forehand winner, she erases all those questions. Why not a Grand Slam? Why not a Wimbledon championship? 6476, well earned over a fighting French woman, Natalie Toziat, Yana Novotna, just shy of her 30th birthday, is the champion Wimbledon. <laughs> That's Alan Mills, the referee of the championships, with a personal congratulation. As they quietly set up the trophy presentation. Ruth match point, solid forehand winner, all the great net play in this championship. That forehand was so good to her. Did she ever deliver a lot of important blows off what many felt of her weaker side? So it's an appropriate uh, final shot that gives her that coveted title that she's long wanted. Her ground game won her the championship, that slice back in and that hard, flat forehand. Isn't that ironic? No question about the meaningfulness of this moment. And in the French box, mother and coach, mm -hmm. friends, Yes, she has done it. This young woman, when she was eight years of age, was in a gymnastics program in Czechoslovakia. That was going to be her sport until the coach saw the father, who's not here, who's 6'2 and 220, and said, you're going to be too big. You better find another sport. She found tennis, and today she found Wimbledon. The Duke and Ch Duchess can't have made their way to the court. Jane Harvey, the referee, As part of the ceremony. They take time to congratulate the boys and girls, uh, ball boys and ball girls. And trophies on the Union Jack. The president of the All England Club, uh, as you know, is the Duke. But uh, this is the day for the Duchess. First, the runner-up. The surprise of the championship, 16 seed, Natalie Tosia. Well, she's worked so hard the last two years. She's developed an all-court attacking game. She remained very loyal to her coach when everyone else in the French Federation wanted to get rid of them. And she's finally reached the peak of her 15th year career. This year, Wimbledon. 63 years since a French woman's been on center court to hold up some treasured silver. Francois Guru said, even I didn't get all the way to the <laughs> final. And now the champion. Well, they've developed quite a friendship so through the years. And now, that precious moment, it is hers. 
Duchess and Duke. Yes, yes, yes. So often this is a playful time with a trophy and perhaps it will be, but the delicate way in which she first held it as if it were a newborn child. The first time for Novotny. Martina Dobratilova, the winningest of all, nine times the champion. And the woman that Jana Novotna idolized and copied as a young tennis star emulated her she was her idol patterned her game after her i know martina's thrilled for her nine times wimbledon winner and you know what she could still come out and play on grass she's that great an athlete well a great athlete did win today serve and volley a la Navratilova. center court now everyone wants a picture of her she doesn't want to let go of that trophy victory is so much sweeter when you're older and you've been through the bumps and the peaks and the valleys and you've gone through adversity and now you know your name will be there with Navratilova and Groff and Billie Jean and Chris and Bueno and Smith and Gibson and Connolly, Bruff and Helen Wills Moody and <laughs> Susan Longman. Boy, on the court, she's all business. As, as you can hear and see, it's a hugely popular victory. The British fans have cheered for her ever since that moment, five years ago, when she let what seemed to be a certain title get away. Her nerves failed her, and Steffi Groff won the last five games to take it away from her. And now uh, they're able to salute her. Her time finally came. Up next, Buck Collins will be with the brand new Wimbledon champion, Yana Novotna, and today's runner-up, Natalie Koziat. Still ahead on this championship Saturday, a preview of tomorrow's men's final, Pete Sampras, looking for title number five against the man he defeated 
four years ago, Gorn Ivanisevic. Also, the men's doubles final here at center court. The Woodies, Mark Woodford and Todd Woodbridge, one win away from an unprecedented sixth consecutive doubles crown at Wimbledon. They face the top seeds, Dutchman Jaco Elding and Paul Harloos. Championship Saturday, breakfast at Wimbledon continues after this. Championships Wimbledon brought to you by United Airlines. You deserve a higher level of service. That's why United Airlines is rising. And by Sun America, the retirement specialist. Welcome back to 1998 champion is Jana Novotna. Autographs and waiting around the bend as per custom is our own Bud Collins. Compliment bien joué. A marvelous tournament, Natalie. How did it get away from you? Well, uh, now it's over. <laughs> it was, I think it was a very good final. We played good each other, and uh, she was just too good today. I mean, maybe she more. She won the match more than me, maybe at the end, and uh, that's make the difference. But I think we play a very good match, very aggressive match, and uh, we show how to play on grass. <laughs> you sure did. Did your serve let you down? A little bit, yes, because uh, she put me a lot of pressure on the second serve. Uh, that was, uh, I mean, uh, for her it was important for me to, to pass my first serve, but I didn't too much. Sometimes yes, sometimes no. And at the end, I, I said, OK, on the second time, maybe if you're coming to the net, do it can help you. But she returned well. And uh, I mean, she's just better than me. Natalie, you did yourself and France proud. Yes, I hope. Merci bien. Thank you. Bonne chance. Thanks. And uh, I just want to say hello to my friend in San Diego. OK. That's Hi, it. friend. The ami in San Diego. <laughs> yes, Merci. thank you. Bye. Here comes Jana. Gratulujah. Thank you. Thank you very Hallelujah. much. Hallelujah. You removed a champion. You became the champion yourself. I've never seen a woman volley better on the court. <laughs> but at 5-4, <five>, going <laughs> for the match, you miss a forehand volley, you don't come to the net again in the game. What happened? Well, I don't think it was because of that. I mean, the whole match was really difficult. I told you before the finals that this is going to be probably the hardest match of the whole championship. I know that my record against Natalie is not really good, and I know how difficult player she is. And she is very smart, very intelligent. She can play some excellent grass court tennis, and I knew that it's going to be really difficult. But the first set for me was really important. I wasn't serving the whole time very well. I mean, not at all. Why? And uh, Why? I don't know. I don't know. I just felt so much pressure from her. I guess I knew that every time I would hit a second serve, she will be all over the net. And uh, I really felt so much pressure putting first serves in. I wasn't serving well at all. So in, in my mind, it didn't really surprise me that I finished it, that, uh, that I didn't finish it off at 5-4 because uh, she just played a good game and I wasn't serving well at all. But I waited for my time and I was good at returning and I was good at the net and that was the key point. We've met here before. The occasions haven't been so happy. <laughs> Five years ago, did you ever think you'd get back to the title? Well, definitely. I really thought about that. And uh, I knew at 93 when I lost to Steffi and even last year against Martina, I knew that I'm, I have the game to win this championship. And I really was believing in myself. And uh, as I got older, I started to play better tennis. And here I am. And I can say that I'm just unbelievably pleased that I have done it because this means so much to me. And you were unbelievably good. Jacoya, here well, she thank is. You so Nobuna, much. the champion. Okay, thank you. And here's another champion who wants to shake hands with oh you. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Dick. All right, bud, you're kind of in your own private quarters. I didn't catch the other champion. John McEnroe was congratulating Yana Novotna. <laughs> well, tears and defeat five years ago. These are... Uh, Sweet tears of joy. Coming up next, the Sun America Sports Desk with Jim Gray back in the States. And don't forget the men's doubles. Australia's Mark Woodford, Todd Woodbridge trying to make Wimbledon history. Can they 